Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I've got two more brand new dropshipping products to show you that I've found during my product research. Both of these products are working at the moment. And what I mean by working is the fact that they're being advertised and sold profitably. Both of these products as well are perfect impulse buy products. And impulse buy products are perfect if you are a beginner because they're typically towards the bottom end of the pricing spectrum. They're usually cheaper products um, that you can easily get started with quite quickly. So usual setup in this video then, I'm gonna show you the products, I'll show you the creative that's selling the products, I'll show you the Shopify store, I'll show you the cost of the products as well so you have a good idea of profit margins. Um, essentially, I'll give you all of the pieces you need to go out there and build a business around one of these. So the first one I wanna show you is from a company called Blazely. And before we actually take a look at the creative and what the product is, um, I'll show you some of the reactions engagement. So 48,000 reactions, 10,000 love hearts. You always get laughing faces from an established dropshipping ad. They're currently tagged in Canada, USA, and the UK. Uh, 50 to 60, which is interesting for the age range. Typically anybody who does well, at least from my own experience, to be honest, that it is always 50 plus, um, and typically female as well. Whereas this ad looks like it's like a two thirds to one third split. Um, in favor of males. How accurate this is, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. The thing I wanted to show you though is look at how many products these guys have tested. They haven't just tested one or two and then stopped when things have stopped working for them. They've kept testing and testing and testing until they've found something that has worked for them because the reason I wanted to show you this is because I speak to a lot of people who are in a boat where they may have tested two or three products and they feel like they can't make it work. So I wanted to show you that so you to give you motivation to keep going and not give up because this model does work. You just have to keep going until you find the right product. Speaking of products then, so let's jump on to Facebook and take a look at the ads. I've actually got a couple of different ads to show you. Both ads are for the same product, so it wasn't just a one-off fluke for these guys. They were able to create two different creatives. So we have this one here and we have this one here. If I take it back to the start so you can see it's completely different. Um, this one has 17,000 reactions, 1.1 thousand comments, and 1.7 thousand shares. This one has 63,000, 1.9 thousand comments, and 4.7 thousand shares. This is also a landscape format. So let's take a look at this first one. Something that's really, really important for your creative, more so on social media platforms, is though those first few seconds, the initial hook. And the hook there is showing something that's quite pretty and quite beautiful, the Northern Lights, and the tagline of, I couldn't travel to see the Northern Lights. Most people haven't seen them, most people can't travel, so it applies to most people who are seeing it. It's a nice visual effect. Um, and just keep that in, in, in the back of your mind, because when I show you the comment section, a lot of the comments are actually on people talking about the Northern Lights rather than actually talking about the product. They might think that that's a bad thing. It's not. It's really clever actually because every time somebody, so like bucket list, this person here is obviously not talking about buying this product. This product is not on their bucket list. This person here reminds me of when I lived in Maine. Beautiful. I saw the Southern Lights. I was born in Alaska. Beautiful picture. Amazing world. God creative. So as you can see, lots and lots of people commenting about those first few seconds, not necessarily about the product. The reason why this is super important and powerful is because when Karen posts this, her friends are gonna see her comments on that ad, who are then gonna watch the video and see the product. The amount of reach these guys would have got organically via people just purely commenting will be quite significant and will have contributed towards the success of this ad. The other comments though, which are more interesting to us as dropshippers, obviously we're looking for that ever important evidence that our product is selling and working. So Susie here, I just love it. I bought two. Is it US dollars? I've seen them once in my childhood. So you do have to dig it out. As you can see, there's a lot of people commenting still about the Northern Lights. I use mine every single night. The other thing to notice as well is we've come down maybe a couple dozen comments and we're still in the one day bracket. This thing is still working as I speak, as I record this video. So it's definitely a product for consideration. Stay tuned, I'll show you in a second exactly where to source it from. Does it work with, I was really fascinated by those when I was young, I really like light still. So somebody commenting one, I have one, I've seen them a few times. Is it battery operated, just stunning? So you really do have to, it's just the sheer amount of comments. I bought this and it really is beautiful. 
So as you can see, I ordered one a few months ago, it works great. As you can see, people are 100% buying this product. So we've seen ad creative number one, the hook was the Northern Lights, then it actually goes into showing what the product is and what it does and the effect it gives off and it's a similar-ish effect. Let's have a look at this different one then, completely different hook. So I was getting bored of old LEDs. That style of LED light was, is and still super, super popular. And as you can see, the hook goes into chucking them into the bin and then straight into showing what the product is. And if I'm not mistaken, it's literally the same clip after those first few seconds, the video ad is exactly the same. So by the looks of it, they've probably experimented with different opening initial clips, those first kind of zero to four or five seconds um, until they've found what works. Let's come down into the comment section then. Again, we can see lots and lots of comments all within the last few hours but just to kind of reiterate that people are buying this thing, um, I'm gonna try and find some comments for you. So I love mine from Charlene. Let's keep going. I'm skeptical. I read it as I'm getting bored. I have three, they are very cool. My granddaughters would love this. Maybe that's a potential marketing angle. Um, such a unique and beautiful edition 20 room. I love how it casts different shades of light. Let's try and find you one more. So have one, it's pretty decent. It's not an option, it's didn't like those, so it's pretty bright. Um, and then this person here just commented, this is a great ad. The key takeaway from this is, I would think a lot of people will consider this quite a saturated product as well, but I think what where people kind of mistake saturation in, in the wrong places, they might think a product is saturated when in reality it's just a creative, to create something new, original, with a great hook that gets people commenting and interested in the video. Um, it doesn't matter how saturated the product is, if you get eyeballs on and millions of views like we've seen with these guys, then you're going to sell a product. Let's jump onto their website then. Um, in fact, I'll show you what happens when you click this shop now button so it doesn't take you to kind of like the typical um, products page layout is more of like a funnel where it takes you through a different like um, different pieces of information our recognitions is this a red dot winner I don't know to be honest I would have to do my research but based on past experience seeing dropship store claims um, I would probably bet that it isn't moving down though what they do a really good job of is branding it towards that kind of scenery and that scene and um what's the word i'm looking for like not atmosphere but feng shui that people are trying to create in their bedrooms um with the black background and the white text this person obviously knows what they're doing when it comes to putting a shopify store together one thing i did notice though that you guys may have noticed is in this image it's actually a different product where my cursor is now that is a different version of the same product essentially to mention it as well, because I did mention it a few weeks ago, a brilliant strategy to adopt in a dropshipping space is to take a proven concept that you know has worked and sell a different variation of it. And that is exactly what these guys are doing. If we click the shop now button, then it takes you to that add to cart section. You can buy lots and lots of different versions. You have the Australis pack, which it's not 100% sure by four by three by two so i'm not 100 percent sure what the difference is here i think it could be just how many you're buying so i think you're buying three there for 24.99 i'm not 100 percent sure but either way a one-off so just buying one of these things is 25 dollars. i'll show you in a second how much they're actually selling it for and then your typical image reviews lots and lots of nice visual effects um, and very straightforward. So they're selling one of these things for $25. If we jump onto AliExpress, you can buy one. Granted, it is an offer price, but you can buy one for 40p delivered. Even at the usual price, it's £9.20. These things are not gonna cost £9.20. Given my experience with these sorts of products and I've been to China, I've seen how cheaply they can manufacture things. I think even if you had a regular price, it's gonna be in and around, it'll be no more than two pounds. There's no way that's costing more than two pounds, especially if you're buying a bulk quantity of these things. They do not have it branded either. There's no logos or anything like that on the product. And if I'm not mistaken, it is literally the exact same product with the blue vents, the mini USB and the dome on top. 
it's an identical product. So even though it's cheap, only $25, there's still that minimum of $20 room in there, making it a brilliant, brilliant product for the beginner to get started with. Before we jump into product number two then, I'm trying to very quickly make you aware of my mentorship program that's currently open with a couple of spaces ready for April. If you are looking to work with somebody on a one-to-one -one basis that can give you personalized advice based on your current situation, your current circumstances and what your goals are, then I invite you to book a call with myself and we can have a chat about how I can help you. If you are looking for something like that, something along those lines, somebody to help you and hold your hand through the entire process of finding and selecting a product, I can introduce you to the agent I use in China. We can get your Shopify store built and get some campaigns and creatives launched, get your business off the ground and seeing some sales come in. If you are looking for somebody to help guide you through that entire process, then what you need to do is head below this video and click this mentorship link here. It's gonna take you to this page here, which is takes two or three minutes, super quick and easy. It's basically just a series of five or six questions, an opportunity for me to get to know what your current experience is, um, and what your goals would be as well, working together for one, two, or three months time. And if you have a realistic goal that I believe I can help you achieve, it'll take you through to my calendar where you'll be able to book in time where me and you can hop on and have a chat in more detail. So head over there now and book that call if that sounds good to you. If not, no worries, let's jump back into product number two. So this is product number two, a really, really well suited product for the Facebook audience. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video actually that it's typically 50 plus that are the best buyers with a product like this, it's probably gonna be 65 plus. It's obviously targeting those people that are less able, which typically are gonna be the older generation. Those that wake up in the morning with a stiff back or perhaps have some sort of injury or perhaps just looking for an easier, more convenient life when it comes to putting their socks um, and putting their socks on in the morning. So as you can see, it's kind of like a tool that you hold with your hand, it's attached to straps, so you can drop it down, put your sock on, and then you just kind of slide your foot through the middle of it, um, easily and very simply gliding a sock onto your foot. So as you can see in itself, a very, actually quite handy product to have for the right person. Let's have a look at the engagements then. 25,000 likes, 1.3 thousand comments, and nearly 900 shares. Lots and lots of comments all from the last 24 hours, which is a great sign, a really good indicator that it's still working at the moment. If we actually jump on to Dropper Spy 2, um, what we're gonna be looking for is the countries that they're targeting. They're going worldwide with this thing. They probably have, we'll take a look at their store in a second, have multi-currency check it out on, so no matter where they are or where the consumer or customer is when they visit their store, they can check out in their local currency. So 25.1%, the biggest section of the pie is from Vietnam, which is interesting. They have Spain, which is another big one, Brazil and Morocco, which is super, super interesting. I've never actually adopted that strategy myself to open my store up to a worldwide audience. However, potentially, well, it obviously is an effective strategy to use, but an interesting strategy, none the least. Targeting worldwide, your CPMs are gonna be a lot cheaper, which allows you to sell your products cheaper. So we'll take a look in a second what they're selling it for to get an idea of their profit margins. So Joe Bauer couldn't complete payment, message said already purchased, so there's obviously intent there. When you are targeting worldwide, this is what you get quite a lot price, or people asking how much, or they might put PP or something like that. Interested, I love mine, only way I can get my socks on. Lots and lots of spam. They need to get a moderation file installed on their Facebook page to automatically filter this out. This person here, so this gadget is brilliant. I got mine in the UK. I use mine and grateful, excellent. I find it much easier. After all the back each shoes, each day I use this every day. I have one, works great. These are great, me too. So easy, used to love mine. So as we can see, lots and lots of people are finding a real life use case value situation for this product. Basically the product works and people like it, which is ultimately what you want. Let's jump onto the website then. So super cheap product, 16 pounds and six pence. It's not rounded up to the typical 99p that you'd expect in this country. That is a telltale sign there using some currency converter that's literally doing a like for like conversion. So that would also indicate as well that they're tagged in a worldwide audience, which we know already. They're also reiterating free shipping worldwide free shipping worldwide. So that just kind of confirms it. They're going for a worldwide audience. They're giving Facebook a lot of flexibility to go out there and basically find whoever's gonna buy this thing. And then when they come onto their site, give them their local currency so they're happy to pay and shop in their local currency. 
super straightforward and textbook Shopify store example, a strategy that I've seen this store, they're featured before on the channel, I've seen this store do the same strategy over and over again and a very effective one nonetheless. So 16 pounds and six pence, including free shipping. So 16 quid delivered to your door. We can jump onto AliExpress. We can see that you can buy one of these things for six pounds plus 70p shipping. This is one of the first suppliers I found. I wouldn't be surprised because these guys are doing volume. They're probably sourcing somewhere closer to five pounds. This does look like a slightly higher quality product too with the foam handles and the string, whereas this one just looks like a bit of tape. So that's probably a more premium product. Therefore, they could even be sourcing Again, given my experience, getting quotations and something like that, I'd be surprised if they're paying more than a pound for if they are ordering a bulk quantity of these things. So with that being said, guys, that's the two products I wanted to show you. If you've stuck around this long, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. I hope these products work out for you. Make sure you come back and let me know how you get on. If you are interested in having a chat about one-to-one -one mentorship with myself, make sure you click that link below this video. Head over to that questionnaire, fill out the questions, takes two or three minutes, book your time and date, and I'll meet you then. I'll talk to you then. Cheers.